Hello everyone and welcome to this follow-up video for the installation of the sliders for my Kingsong S22. If you hadn't seen that video, for this video to make any sense to you, you might want to watch it, so click on that card above and you can see what we're talking about here. I'd like to thank everyone who commented on my original video. I received a lot of great comments, a lot of suggestions, and most of all, I received a lot of requests to follow up, so that's what I'm doing now. My apologies for taking so long. I just got really, really busy and just did not have time to follow through. Basically, what I did a few weeks ago is I installed the roller sliders that someone printed out to replace the stock sliders of my S22. Had really good results at, at the very beginning. My intention all along was to test them out, see how well they held up, see if the performance of the sliders would degrade over time, make video as I went, and document the progress. So now I'm just going to skip to my first video, which came somewhere around 40 miles in to the installation. Hello everyone and welcome back. As you saw in the original video, the suspension was working really good. I mean, there was no sound or noise coming from the suspension whatsoever. The only thing that you could hear when I engaged the suspension was actually the air that's in the shock itself. I've got about 42 miles on it so far. Half of that, about 21 miles, I did yesterday on a gravel road where there's lots of dirt and, and grime, a little, a little bit of off-road. I haven't really been on the off-road trails yet, but I intend on doing that in the next couple of days. So I've got about 40 miles on there. And today, after yesterday's 20 mile ride, I started noticing some creeks and some noises. Nothing like it was before, but again, I've only got 40 miles on it, so we'll see. But what I was wanting to do, the intention of today's portion of the video, is I was gonna take my lavalier mic, place it on the wheel itself, and just ride it around so that you can hear really clearly what I'm hearing. So what I'll do is I'll take this lavalier mic, place it right here on this wire. Let's see how this works. So that's what it sounds like on the inside. Now, I'm pretty anxious to get back in, put this on my computer and have a listen and see what it sounds like. But you can tell that it's obviously making some sounds that it was not before. We'll see what that's about. And again, this is just checking in at the 40 mile mark. So as you saw in that video, the first few miles that I did without any dust or dirt, it performed really well, did not make a lot of sounds. I was super happy. But then after I got on the dirt roads, the noise started. I did not plan on putting any oil of any kind on the sliders. I wanted them to basically function dry if, if possible. But what I learned through the process is that it got so noisy, I could not bear the sound anymore. So I went back and I put some PTFE oil on there. It gets really messy, but it did help. Just like the sliders before, it would only work for the first few miles and then it would go back to the sounds that it was making. Also, since that video, I did some more strenuous testing of some trails. I did some jumping. I did some moderately fast trail riding. And soon after that, the performance of the suspension sliders started degrading quickly. So much so that it is my belief that there may actually be something broken on the inside. So what I'm going to do at this time is I'm going to go ahead and take my wheel back apart. I'm going to inspect the sliders and see if they need to be replaced or if I should just go ahead and put the original sliders back in. So here we go once again taking the wheel apart to see what's inside. OK, 
Okay, so here's the moment of truth. We'll see how this looks. All right, so as I'm looking at the sliders, if you remember in the original video, I uh, had a problem with one of the sliders, and I believe this might be it, but this, this roller right here is not rolling. Now, it just broke loose, and it's rolling better, but when it, it, this one right here was seized up, this roller was moving well, and the top roller's moving well. On this side, both of those rollers are looking good. Both of these rollers look good. I don't see anything in here that looks like it's broken on this side. All right, so we're going to flip it around. Take a look at the other side. That roller is good. This roller is good. Good, good. Ooh. I don't know what that is, but that is some trash. And here's some more trash. Looks like, looks like a blade of grass got up into this section. And here, here's another example. I may try to get a close up of this, but if you can see, you may not be able to see, but here's one roller. And it actually has something rolled up on the roller itself. I'm not sure if that's part of the, the plastic. Oh yeah. So this roller is definitely broken. Okay, so I'll dig into those a little bit deeper. But this, this roller right here Maybe you can see, but it's coming apart. And I believe that's the same material that I saw on the bottom of this. So that is like a layer of the roller itself, the outer layer of that 3D printed roller. And basically this one is just coming apart. I almost, just my initial thoughts, my, I would almost think that having the bare roller, the bearing itself, having the bare bearing itself on the inside, just getting a larger bearing might alleviate these rollers from coming apart. But I think this right here is some evidence that shows that these 3D printed rollers may not be durable enough to withstand some of the larger jumps. The bar itself actually looks pretty good, but I think the noises that I was hearing is actually coming from these wheels. All right, so now it's decision time. I've got to decide on whether or not I want to take the time to fix these rollers, which means I would have to reprint some, or if I will just need to put the stock rollers back on. And since I do not have a 3D printer, all of this was 3D printed from a friend of mine. It may take several days or a week before I can convince him to print me out some more wheels. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to the original sliders so I can continue to ride my wheel. So here's a couple of final thoughts. Although I really love the design of the sliders, and I think whoever made them did a really great job, 
the problem that I have found is that they just don't last long enough. Since I installed the sliders, I only have about 150 miles. The first 20 miles was really easy road riding and the suspension performed really well. I think over time, if I would have continued very light riding on the road or a pavement, I think eventually those rollers would have wore out, but they would have certainly lasted longer than they did while I was doing some trail riding. The thing I appreciate about this system is that it showed me exactly how well the shocks and the springs and the suspension from King Song is capable of doing. I really hope that King Song will take the time to design some type of inner sleeve that will be more durable and function and perform as well, if not better, than when I originally installed this system. One thing that I found amazing was the amount of views that my original video received, and I think this is indicative of King Song S22 owners really wanting a good solution for this suspension system. So hopefully King Song will listen and we'll see some improvements on this wheel instead of whatever the next wheel they decide to make. Let's fix this wheel. I hope you found this video informative. I certainly enjoyed making it. Have a good day.